I think it's pushing out in in multiple different ways. Uh, we had 500 people at a crypto party um, that we hosted in North Perth last night. That was uh, almost completely sold out. And you know, on a Wednesday night, a couple of weeks after the data retention bill passed, uh, interest, if anything, is higher than it was before because people are realising that they've been sold out by the state. Um, so one uh, consequence we're seeing is, is a spike in the use of VPNs, of virtual private networks, and a surge in interest in cryptography, uh, in online anonymity, and in other tools for people to protect their, their data and protect their security. So I guess that's one, one element. Another element is that the technical community in the United States, in Europe and elsewhere, um, is getting very serious about baking in strong cryptography to the next generation of communications tools. So at the moment, if you want strong privacy protections, it's kind of changing, I guess. Up until fairly recently, you could say it actually required a reasonable amount of technical skill and strong cryptography still does. You have to really want that. You need to have a reason um, to pursue those tools. Uh, but I think what we will see over the next couple of years is the community, the technical community and the engineers and the people who, who write the stuff and make these tools in the United States is a palpable feeling of betrayal uh, that their own government would do this to them. And in Europe, it's, you know, um, the European technical community being very well aware that their own governments are up to this as well. Also, don't take kindly to the fact that they've been on watch lists from the United States government who they thought were were allies. So. That then creates, uh, even if, if ordinary users um, only have a passing interest in cryptography, you will soon, I think people will be in a much better position uh, uh, in a wider variety of tools available on the market to choose those by default that, um, that protect your privacy, that retain very little metadata or kind of erase their tracks as rapidly as they're made, um, protect anonymity. Uh, and 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 bake strong cryptography into the tools themselves. I think that's actually a very positive sign. And the third thing is, I guess, we will see the emergence of a digital rights community. People are feeling pretty burned about the way the data retention debate panned out. The fact that we didn't have the numbers, that the Labor Party caved in. I think there's a strong sense in the community that next time they try it on, the pushback's going to be even sharper, that we didn't have enough support this time. Uh, but it's actually, it's it's upset a great many people the way that that it's happened.